you can start now doctor you can start multifocal i will uh, Uh, multifocal eye consists of multiple zones of lens power that produces more than one uh, focus allowing for enhanced vision at both the near and the far uh, types of multifocal eye uh, refractive diffractive and combined uh, refractive optics and the optical principle behind this refractive eye includes uh, two zone lenses their central near vision segment which is surrounded by a distance uh, vision segment Uh, here, since the pupil constricts during the near focus and dilates during the distance focus, another type is annulus type or bull silence. Uh, the central portion of the optics contains the distance vision refraction, and there is a near vision ring outside it, which is in turn surrounded by a other distance vision ring. Marked pupillary constriction allows the distance vision, and mild constriction allows the distance and near vision. And all the three lens segments are exposed when the pupil is dilated. These are examples for refractive eyewells, re-zoom and array. The advantages of refractive eyewells, they produce good quality, distance and intermediate vision. Disadvantage includes near vision for a small print may not be satisfactory, limited by the pupillary diameter because of the zonal design of the lens, highly sensitive to lens centration, may cause allo and glare and reduces contrast sensitivity. Another type is diffractive eyewells. It uses the principle of uh, diffraction and interference. This uh, principle uh, it uses principle of wavefront uh, optics of light. The lens combines a standard convex curvature placed on the front surface. Uh, approximately 25 concentric annular zones are cut on the posterior surface with the microscopic steps in between the quaternions and light. The step height is in the range of wavelength of light. Diffractive zones which constitute what is known as a kinogram, which allows selectively delay the incoming light waves so that uh, they interfere again constructively at the desired focal distance. This uh, undeviated light constitutes a zero order. Uh, it includes forty percent of the incident light. Another forty percent will be deviated lights, and this twenty percent of the uh, incident light will be uh, like lost. The width of the steps governs the distance to where the first order will come into focus. The width between the each kinogram step controls the amount of added virgins. The height and spacing of the diffracting rings are reduced from center to periphery. This reduces the scattering of light and hence it reduces the glare. Smooth rounded edges in lens reduces the glare. Uh, there is a technique called apertization. The rings are progressively sloped from uh, center to periphery. This changes of angle of diffraction uh, which uh, offers the good uh, intermediate vision. Example includes ID plus and accredif. Advantages of uh, diffractive eyewells, this provides good for and near vision. It is not dependent on pupil dynamics. Uh, disadvantages include that intermediate vision may not be satisfactory, high potential for allos and glare, and decreased contrast sensitivity. Patient selection criteria. Patient should have a strong desire to be spectacle independent. Functional and occupational requirements. Uh, Pre-existing ocular pathologies like uh, ARMD, glaucoma, there is already a reduced contrast sensitivity. Uh, due to uh, multifocal lens, it may add a visual handicap for this patient. And uh, hypercritical patients uh, better to avoid the multifocal levels. And occupational light drivers like truck driver, taxi drivers, astronomers, uh, they, uh, they, they will face the problem of glare and halos. Uh, there are two objective uh, measurements in which multifocals are not recommended are a large positive angle uh, uh, kappa. A poor higher order root mean square corneal wavefront error over a 6 mm zone. If patients with uh, HORMS corneal wavefront 6 mm zone above 0.50 micrometer are not a good candidate for diffractive eyewells because of uh, their poor, poor corneal quality, including post refractive surgery or penetrating keratoplasty, etc. The only exception is uh, dry eye, where after treatment, uh, the error can reduce. Interoperative exclusion criteria includes that uh, if there is a significant vitreous loss during surgery, pupillary trauma during surgery, zonal or dialysis, or postural rupture. Uh, Dr. Pradeep, you can unshare the screen and answer the questions.
yeah that will be <clears throat> this open your presentation once yeah so you discussed uh, i mean i'm just going to discuss uh, the iol options in the current scenario so which can you tell me because i i maybe i have missed it in your presentation but what are the most commonly used lenses in today's day and time when it comes to multifocal design in the current market we will use uh, diffractive lenses sir like okay but then, not, not all diffractive lenses are the same so i wanted to know because you mentioned some companies and i was just you know there was no because on all all lenses have different principles when it comes to, even in diffractive uh different companies have different on different models have different light distributions so that was the one thing i was looking for accurate ed lens so what is the difference between a tri trifocal and an edof lens say in edof lens uh, there will be intermediate vision and uh, distant vision sir focus sir in multifocal level there will be near vision and uh, they are specially designed for the near vision and the distant vision sir. okay but what about uh, intermediate vision in multifocal lenses uh, actually uh, now in recently their uh, um, intermediate vision is slightly difficult in uh, like multifocal sir Um, but uh, now uh, the they have made uh, it uh, easier by changing the pattern of design in uh, diffractive eye well by uh, decreasing the uh, by increasing the slope between the uh, like uh, rings uh, from center to periphery so uh, coming up with uh, giving intermediate vision sir now okay so is multi is trifocal lens a multifocal lens or not sorry sir is trifocal lens a multifocal lens yes sir multifocal lens so what is trifocal uh the lens in which we can see both the near vision intermediate and uh, distant visions that's what no intermediate is already addressed in a trifocal lens yes so in bifocal lenses are mostly on the way out of the market right now so i what i wanted to know is what are the you know in terms of the latest generation of lenses because it's a very yeah. relevant topic your cataract surgeon uh, 17 Okay, so one more question I have for you. You said uh, you said something about uh, cord and angle kappa. I wanted to know if you because it's it's again very relevant to all premium lenses. What is angle alpha? Sir, angle alpha is the distance between the visual axis and the optic uh, center, sir. What is optic center? Optic center. It's like uh, it's a line, uh, imaginary line passing through the nodal point of the eye, sir. No, so my question is. <laughs> center yeah yes yeah, how center. do you center can right sir sorry uh dr samresh asked optic center yes. he didn't ask for any line so what is optic center optical center you have to measure angle alpha at some point in time mm -hmm. yes. so practically speaking what is one point you said right it's you said uh, visual axis so visual axis is one point of angle alpha what is the second distance point pupillary center sir pupil center that's angle kappa yes so angle alpha is the center of the limbus because that is the anatomical center of where the lens will stay so optical center of the lens but from practical perspective the center of the limbus is angle alpha yes. okay and again what is the just as i asked before and maybe you were there what is the uh, you know how do you measure angles in the eye angle alpha and angle kappa so but well, what is the what do you measure it in degrees or microns same question i asked before microns sir yeah. okay good you were listening so that's good all right and you said you said if it, if it is large uh, uh, so what what is the problem with large angle cup what is the problem with large uh, angle alpha sir uh, ideally that uh, center of the lens uh, should be uh, at no, no 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 that is fine that is fine see uh, you have a large angle kappa you have an issue yes sir yes sir okay you have an ang uh, large angle alpha you have another issue yes. okay you should know what uh, causes what and uh, what what do you mean by a large angle kappa so 
so is it uh, uh, the same for I mean, uh, uh, you you can't uh, tell uh, tell about ball part figure like you is it the same for uh, uh, any uh, io design usually sir uh, the angle cup uh, there will be 0.3 mm distance between pupil center and the uh, visual axis uh, no pradeep uh, see okay. uh, you uh, take as large that's a question uh, okay, but if if uh, uh, if it is like uh, if the central optical zone is uh, uh, 1.5 mm anything more than half of it like about 7 mm mm-hmm. this not ideal okay and if it is 1 mm anything more than 0.5 like half of the uh, 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 central optical okay. zone so and just I mean, you you uh, we, we will be having uh, questions because it's easy to ask questions on uh, and uh, trouble the presenter uh, Uh, with questions on angle kappa alpha and all it's all, all confusing like uh, uh, so what is the optical center optical center is actually the center of the cornea when uh, when uh, compared to the limbus like so 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 all those uh, uh, questions uh, will be coming and from from here uh, say dr kaushik is there he he he'll, he'll ask about uh, uh, what is uh, what uh, uh, what if the patient has a large uh, angle kappa uh, uh, when you examine Uh, uh how does it is it exotropia isotropia that uh, pseudo exotropia pseudo isotropia so all those things and uh, pradeep like uh, you uh, uh, can research it uh, uh, work a little bit more on uh, uh, the material that you're presenting uh, uh, and be a be a be a uh, uh, more confident okay you're good you're good and uh, be confident uh, 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 y- y- your body language has to be a uh, bit more uh, confident and uh, that will help you to reach further heights okay okay okay, okay. okay. thank you dr pradeep there is a recent article on igo on angle kappa by our uh, dnb student dr kelini you can go and read in elaborate about that okay yeah 